Ventus seems to be having a much better time of things <laughs> at the beginning than Terra was. Terra's first world, he was mind controlled into stealing Princess Aurora's heart and then just kind of left. In Aventus' first world, he got to meet some dwarves and he saved a princess from being killed. He also, of course, helped out, out intentionally helped out the villain poison Snow White. So actually, maybe, maybe, never mind. Maybe it's not going so well for him. But anyway, so we're off to world two, Ca Castle of Dreams. This is going to be a lot more fun than Terra's version of this world. Of course, we're still going to have bippity boppity boo played on repeat. But, what can you do? Castle of Dreams! We get to explore a very different part of this world than Terra did. Hey, Cinderella. <sighs> Cinderella! Cinderella! Come on! Got a flurry! Got a flurry! Now, Jack, what's all the fuss about? Somebody new in a house! Somebody never saw a fool! Oh, a new friend! Where is he? In a trap trap! Down the stairs! Oh, dear. What is going on? Huh? Somebody tell me how I got so small! <laughs> <sighs> So for this world, Ventus is basically one of the mice. I, he basically replaces Gus from the movie. This is really weird, because in the other Kingdom Hearts games, when your character changes form, it's because of Donald's magic trying to get us to blend in. So what is this here? Is Ven just naturally small in this world while Terra's naturally big? They never really explained this. Interesting. I've never seen a mouse like you before. Cinderella still thinks we're a mouse, even though we're very clearly a small human. Cinderella might have brain damage, folks. Mouse? I blame her family for abusing her. Explain things to him. Easy, Cinderella. Yeah. Look, a little guy, make her easy. Not a worry, bow. He like you. Bruh, you look so creepy. You you're staring into my soul. What are you saying? Zug Zug? Name a Jack. I'm Ventus. I'm, I'm sure glad we've got the subtitles on, because there is no way anyone would be able to understand a word that Jacques is saying otherwise. Just like, Call me Ven. Sets up Ben Ben. Need a setup? Ask that Jack. Zug Zug. Zug Zug. Tell me that was not nonsense, what he just said. Oh well, time to get to my chores. I'll see you in a little while, then. Cinderella wow. has a screw loose. I guess she's got her hands full. Just work, work, work. Step muddy, keep a Cinderella busy all day. She didn't seem to mind much, though. No, not so Cinderella. She worked a hard. Got a dream, big dream. Dream gonna come true. That sounds like somebody I know. <laughs> Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Hey, oh, poor maybe Tara. You can help me find him. His name's Tara. You seen him? Eh, uh, no, no. Never saw Tara before. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Man, the character's mouth's moving just looks so bad. <laughs> Again, remnant of the PSP version. Come on, follow me. Gotta see the house. All right, Jacques. I like this version of Castle Dream Castle of Dreams. We basically get to explore this house while really small, so everything is really giant to us. I'd better follow Jacques. Oh yeah. <laughs> Castle Dreams, yeah, very fun. Oh, we need to keep leveling up the Snow White D-Link. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, take that. Oh, yeah. Whee! Seriously, how, how is, how, how is Cinderella not realizing that we are a human? I don't, I don't get it. 
Oh well. Yeah. Rats. That was not a whole lot of stuff that we got as uh, the Snow White dealing. Okay. Let's grab us a treasure chest. Yay, a potion. So happy I got that. I do like how the characters get to visit different parts of the world, though. What's that? As a palace, King's Palace. Gonna be a big ball tonight. Is Cinderella going? <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Hello, you two. Have you become friends already? Oh, that's wonderful. You didn't see us nod. You sure look happy, Cinderella. Hmm. I'm going to the royal ball tonight. Probably not. <gasps> Maybe. I guess dreams really do come true. Cinderella! My dress will have to wait. Cinderella! Cinderella! All right, all right. I'm coming. Poor Cinderella. She not go to the ball. Why not? You see, they fix her. Work, work, work. She'll never get a dress done. What the heck did you just say? Ven Ven get a cat! With That's what? not what he said. <laughs> Fix up Linderelli dress for the ball. But what do we need to get? Look around the house. Lots of pretty pretty things. Okay, let's do it. I'll go find whatever we need. Jacques, you get things set up here. Zuxa. Did you just say Gadzooks and it's written it interpreted it as okay? Rusevi? Rusevi, a cat cat. Meany, sneaky. Jump a two, bite a two. Ha! Gotcha. That's only somewhat similar to the way the mice talk in the actual movie. You need to find five items to complete Cinderella's dress. A white sash, a white lace, a white button, pink fabric, and pink thread. How about black beads? Yeah, so for those of you who are wondering why I did Terra's World's out of order, where if you go by the battle level, Terra's supposed to go Enchanted Dominion, Castle of Dreams, then Dwarf Woodlands. The reason is then the timelines don't match up. As you can see, uh, Terra either does his part of Dwarf Woodlands before or at the very least simultaneously with Ven as Terra chases Snow White into the woods accidentally, then finds her in the woods. But Ven's version of Castle of Dreams takes place before Terra's version, as because when we visited here as Terra, Cinderella was already crying over her dress being destroyed, and here we're actually just trying to make her dress in the first place. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes the battle level does not match up with how the timeline yeah. is supposed to work. That's why I did them out of order. Oh boy, a map. Thank goodness, <laughs> thank goodness Cinderella made a, ma a mouse-sized map and put it in a treasure chest just for us. All right, jump out the window, see ya. Never mind, we can't do that. All right, what can we buy from the store? I don't think anything else after Last World. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is a cool aspect of the world. There are these balls of yarn that we can ride around on, and they're actually great. They let us reach stuff that's out of, uh, out of reach normally. Like this magic recipe. But the, they also are quite useful in dealing with enemies, because we can actually run enemies over while with the yarn ball to not necessarily instantly defeat them, but it certainly makes the job a lot quicker. Okay. The platforming in this game is not spectacular, so bear with me on this. There we go! Fireworks sticker Gandalf! Another chest up here. Boom! Stun Edge! I'm stunned, but we don't actually want to equip that. We want to have our, our actual deck going. Alright, yeah, so we gotta explore around the mouse holes in order to find all of the items Cinderella needs. Stupid floods. Weehee! Yeah, I gotta remember, I have mini. And he's so good. So good. So now we can go out here into the main room. 
And my recommendation for this is find this yarn ball. And we're actually going to D-Link Snow White before this. So that way any enemies that appear, we can just run them over and try to get the uh, D-Link level up ASAP. No, no enemies too tough, just a couple of scrappers, some floods, some red hot chilies. Maybe a bruiser or two. Not too bad, nothing to worry about. These shoes are nice, as these shoes can drop fleeting crystals. Which, remember, oh, here we go. Fleeting crystals give us the attack and magic hastes. So now, uh, the Snow White D-Link, we have Gauge Boost, which means our, fini our finish gauge, our command gauge, fills up more quickly. And now we've got uh, Quick Load, which means, uh, so we're going to use Grumpy's Treasure Raid here. Look at how fast that is recharging. Oh, yes. And I, I want to use the treasure Grumpy Treasure Raid on these guys, because they drop Fleeting Crystals, and I want Fleeting Crystals as fast as possible. We also get some new commands here. We got Dopey. I actually don't remember what Dopey do. Dopey is a shrink. It's basically mini. Then there's Bashful. Bashful is warp. Remember the warp command? So warp is normally a command only Terra can get. But you can get it with the Snow White D-Link as well. Which, I, amusingly enough, Terra doesn't have. And we also get a new finish command, Sweet Seven. Where we basically launch orbs representing the seven dwarves at enemies. It's a lot better than the original Snow White uh, finisher. It's pretty great. But remember, Warp does not give any e any EXP, so we actually don't really want to use that a whole lot. Yeah, look at how fast we get our finish command now. So the Snow White D-Link is great for just instantly getting her finisher, as well as for just using her seven dwarves. I love how her commands are just, are different, basically, commands for the seven dwarves. It's really cool. So here we get the white lace. Here we get the pink fabric. Ooh, boy, Blizzard. Anything up here? I thought there was something up here. It's an open window, but it doesn't let us jump out of it. I don't know why. Whee! Yarn ball over here lets us climb up here. Beautiful. A fleeting crystal, hooray. The more of those we get, the better. <laughs> I love getting to spam magic and attack commands. It's great. Whoop! So just use the yarn ball for boosts and we can get some chests. Like the balloon lighter that we're probably never gonna use. There's the white sash. Oh, oh, come on. If only we had the sliding dash command. Some of these materials were supposed to go for different mouse holes in order to grab. For example, there, there's the mouse hole we came out of, and then there are different mouse holes. So I think this one... Is this the one that we came out of? Yeah, okay. So this is the mouse hole that we came out of in the first place, but there are other mouse holes in this room. Like the one over here. But we're gonna beat up some more enemies first. Because I would love to get more fleeting crystals if at all possible. Or just crystals in general. Come on, doo doo. Yeah, enemies really easy to take out if you use the yarn ball. So the pristine mouse hole leads back to Cinderella's room. This one over here, which is slightly frayed a little bit, takes us to a different area. Wait. Doggone it, this is the regular mouse. Okay. The pristine mouse hole takes us over here. This is the one. This one is like a half hole. This one takes us to a new area. Oh, yay, a potion. Why are you giving me potions when I have cure now? These forks, for some reason, are like trampolines. 
I don't know why, but we can use them to our advantage. If we do a finisher on here, that'll make a platform on the other side of the wall. Oh, well, there goes the flood. <laughs> this spider web to make these blocks of cheese come loose. I'm just crackers about cheese, Ventus. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit world win. I know, that's not Disney. Oh, hey! I am not Roxas. We're actually going to D-Link Aqua because she has Magnera in here. Which means... We can get a bunch of ice cream ingredients here. Thanks, Aqua. We got a bunch of ice cream ingredients. And that's what really matters. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Firestorm Command style. So yeah, we're definitely not as like brutally strong as Terra is, but we're also quicker. So each character has their own strengths and weaknesses. So now that we've knocked the cheese down, we can use it to grab that treasure chest. We can also use it to exit out of this mouse hole over here. Back to the wardrobe room. The world is really small in terms of the number of rooms. But it's actually it actually is a decent size to actually travel through. Well, here's the white button. Yay. Dress materials left to find? Only one. So we gotta do more digging around the mouse hole. And magically the cheese is no longer here. Wallace, do you know anything about that? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a puzzle piece over there. <laughs> We're not going to be able to grab that just yet. We can also head through here. We have not been through this part yet. Convenient man. I'm so glad there are all these yarn balls just stashed in the walls of the chateau. Stupid shoes. And here we go. Take that. And here we are on top of the wardrobe, through that doorknob. Pretty cool. Do a jump, and we grab the pink thread. Actually, shoot. I didn't want to do- I wanted to keep going, because there was a chest I think we could have got. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I know an oyster that'll s drool all over it. Yeah, because now this warps us back to Cinderella's room? Whereas I think there was a chest that we could have grabbed on top of that if I had just held off on grabbing it for a second. Oh, well. Oh, yes, cool. We can melt some of our fires together. All right. I'm going to actually start equipping the shimmering crystals to the fire to get fire out with fire boost. And the reason for that is Ventus's default shot lock is fire based. So if we get fire boosts early on, our shot locks uh, power is going to skyrocket. Which is very nice. So we're going to immediately equip those bad boys. Another thing I think we're going to equip... We got a bunch of blizzards. We got four of them, which is great. We're going to equip Sliding Dash. Actually, no we're not. Because I think a boss fight is about to come up. So we actually will... We'll equip a blizzard. Because I think when we go to the wardrobe room again, it's going to be boss time. Oh, yeah. 
Sure enough. There's that pearl we need, but it's guarded by the most evil cat of all. Oh, there it is. When you name your cat Lucifer, you're asking for it. I thought he would bring me light. Time for the boss. We get to fight Lucifer. If you hated him from the movie. <laughs> well, oh, this is gonna be good. We get we get to just absolutely destroy this guy. So let's start off with a good old shot lock. And we'll see how those fire boosts. Look at uh, that look at that damage. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Now we're gonna D-Link Terra. Because Terra has Sonic Blade. Okay. Alright, that was rude. Okay, he's stunned. Here we go. Also, I made a mistake when I mentioned Terra's initial D-Link ability, Overdrive. I said that it just increases your physical attack power. It only increases your physical attack power when you're low on HP. Which means, I think at this point we deal extra- no we don't. But now that we're low on HP, we will. Yeah. Yes! Take that, Lucifer! And we get the Diamond Dust Command style for beating up Lucifer, for some reason. I won't argue, it's another command style. That's nice. And we have all these blizzards we want to level up. Oh, that's a big thank you. No thanks needed. You saved me before, so I saved you. That's what friends do, right? Now, let's get that dress finished. Yeah. Ah, uh, Ventus is so wholesome. Oh, well, what's a royal ball? After all, I suppose it would be frightfully dull and boring and completely, completely wonderful. Don't feel bad, Cinderella. Cinderella. We fought Lucifer for you. Ta da! Is that my dress? Yes. It's a present from us. Now you have a dress for the ball. <laughs> Why, it's... it's such a surprise. Flurry, flurry! Time to go, Flurry! Oh, thank you. Time to go, Cinderella. What did you just say? <laughs> okay, seriously, do yourself a favor. Anytime Jacques starts talking, close your eyes. Don't look at like what he, what the subtitles are saying, and try to figure out what he's actually saying. You won't be able to do it. I wonder. Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Well, you're not the only one. I know. You, you, me, and Ben, ben all share the same dream. dream. Funny. I'd never really thought about it. At least until you asked me. My dream 
is to become a Keyblade Master. Hope a Ben Ben dream come true, too. I just need to keep on believing. Right? Yep, yep. <laughs> you did not say right just there. He was like, Jup, did they did they not translate some of his words from Japanese to English? Because it really feels like they didn't translate some of his words from Japanese to English. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm saying that's what it feels like. Forge a D-Link with Cinderella. Yay! Then, uh, you know, it's more believable that Ven forges a D-Link with Cinderella for making her address than Tara does for just being like, Cinderella, don't give up your dream. <laughs> You can keep believing. Then again, Terra did escort her through the Unverse. So, never mind. That actually makes sense. And we got the Stroke of Midnight Keyblade, which it has really bad stats. So, we're not going to equip it. <laughs> Treasure Trove is just better. Oh, yay. Command board for Castle of Dreams. Thank goodness. Oh, we can't go back to the Land of Departure. Because that's where Aqua wants us to go. All right. Well, unfortunately, before we can, like, you know, proceed, there are still some treasure chests that need attending to. And this is where I equip the uh, sliding dash. Just so we get a little bit of extra horizontal distance. After all, sliding dash is great for sequence breaks. Oh, yeah! Yeah, we're holding off on the, uh, the dark power orbs for, for now. Because their rewards are just not very good. And we can't really do them that well yet. <laughs> I was on top of the world, living high. <laughs> okay. I think there is a treasure chest over there. Yeah, okay. This is going to require precise timing. Yeah. That was not precise timing. Okay. We got to be farther back than that. We're not supposed to grab that chest just yet, but you know me. If I can get it, I will get it. <laughs> We're just ignoring the enemies. I really want to try to avoid over-leveling Vendas. I definitely over-leveled Terra way too much. Even then, still died to the final boss. Not the form I thought I was going to die on, but I still did. And it's better for Terra to be over-leveled anyways, because Terra is... The worst out of all. Out of all the free characters, Terra's actually the worst. If you can believe that. Okay. Yes, if you do it like all the way back, we can get up here. And we get Thunderstorm! It's a shot lock. Not my, one of my favorite shot locks, but it still is a shot lock. Oh my gosh, we need some attack hastes and magic hastes. Need them. I think there's a chest up here above the books. Yeah. Zero gravity. I mean, that wouldn't have helped for Lucifer anyways, but it's just nice to have. Now, is that all of the treasure chests in this world? We are still missing one. Okay. It's gotta be around somewhere. The question is, is it gonna be here in the wardrobe room, or is it going to be in the mouse hole? It's actually Cinderella's room. I mean, we're really high up and I don't see it in this room. So I'm gonna assume it's probably hanging out in the mouse hole somewhere. Alright, let's take a look around. If I time this sliding dash right, I can actually grab the sticker down there. Long before I'm supposed to be able to. Gonna clear out the floods so that way I don't walk on to them by accident. Alright. One for the money, two for the show for you to get ready, and four to sliding dash. Uh, uh, yes! I got the Louis sticker. I don't really want the Louis sticker, but I grabbed it anyways. Fantastic. Where is that last treasure chest? I guess one thing I could do is I can start leveling up our Cinderella D Link. This is a great room to level D-Links up in. 
because there are so many enemies and you can kill them so quickly. Now again, the Cinderella D-Link is exact- oh, there we go. Auto Remedy. Oh, yay, we can buy Thunders now? I'll take two. Am I not getting- I don't think I'm getting command points for running enemies over with the Yarn Ball, though. That's a bit of a shame. Well, I found the chest. <laughs> In a deceptively simple location, and all it has is a Hungry Crystal. Well, I guess I got more ice cream from this anyway, so... No real harm done. I was- I was going crazy. I literally looked everywhere, and it was just hiding behind a fork. Should have known. I hide behind forks all the time. Although we still have to get oh, we still have to level up our Cinderella D Link. Okay, let's get that D Link gauge back up. I have defeated a lot of enemies, and they have not been dropping in uh, the Wayfinders for me. There we go! I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Immediately leave for Dealey. I wanted to have the upgraded Cinderella Dealey. I didn't want to actually use it, because it's not that good. <laughs> As far as D-Links go, the Cinderella D-Link is not very great. One of her commands that she has, the Enchanted Step, can be used to sequence break some stuff, and we may end up trying that out later on, but it's kind of wonky to use. Basically, her Enchanted Step, uh, when you start falling and you've locked onto an enemy that's way above you, Enchanted Step will just take you really, really high. So you can get a lot of height out of it, which is nice, but... Beyond that... Okay. Well, we leveled up our cure, so I want a second cure. Oh, we don't have enough. That's okay, we can sell some, uh... Oh, we can sell some potions. I'll sell all but one. We can sell some panaceas, because panaceas stink. We can sell some ethers, because ethers are also not very good. Oh yeah, look at that money. Look at that money. I love it. Love it so much. Okay, here we go. Let's get ourselves a third thunder. A third here. Oh, we can get magnet? Shoot, should have bought more of those. Can we sell something that we don't need other than the items we have? Oh my gosh, look at all those binds. I do not need this many. I'll sell all of them. <laughs> sell all of them so I can buy more magnets. Magnets are so much better. I want to buy two of them. Yes, look at all these commands that I have. So before we end the episode, we are going to head on over to the Mirage Arena for the first time. Now, pretty much all of this I'm going to cut out. I'm just going to be playing Command Board to, uh, well, you know, start getting some medals, leveling up my arena level, and leveling up my commands off screen in a way that doesn't take a bunch of EXP. And I'm going to be doing pretty much all of my Command Board uh, grinding here in the Mirage Arena, unless I'm specifically trying to get certain bonus panels. Because Mirage Arena clearing the command board here, it's usually better because you get medals out of doing it. You get to choose how many opponents you have. You still get to level up your commands. The only real difference here is that if you play in the Mirage Arena, way fewer bonus panels. Uh, yeah, default color scheme. That's fine. Yeah, we want to set two... Generally, you like playing with two players. That way, less competition and your stun command is just pretty good. Oh, hey! We're going up against Terra! Ready? Ain't this a blast from the past. So what's our one bonus panel? Just curious. Zero gravity. Okay. Not Ragnarok. Well, Trounce tri Terra, no doubt. And we got the zero gravity bonus panel out of it, too. Let's see. Thunder's Max Hole. Thunder's Max Hole. Zero gravity's Max Hole. Magnet's Last Hole. And we leveled up our Thunderstorm a little bit. And, of course, we get some medals. And we get an arena level up. Nice. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to do it on the royal board, which we just unlocked. One other thing I'm going to do before we uh, venture into the great unknown. 
We're going to meld our two thunders together. And we're going to attach a fleeting crystal to that to get Fundara with magic haste. Because the sooner we get them magic hastes, the better. And this way, we can potentially start leveling that Fundara up this round. No, I like going before Cinderella. Ready? I'm perfectly happy with this. Yeah, we, uh, we clobbered Cinderella. Fire, fire got to max. Fire, I did not. Thunder did. Cure did. Zero gravity did. Both magnets did as well. We get two eight white medals. Nice, and we got at least 300 medals. Cool, can we get anything worthwhile from here? Group cheer, confetti, victory pose. Nope. Don't want to spend that on any of those. However, we can do some melding now. We can meld our two cures together with a fleeting crystal. Get ourselves Kira with magic haste. We can meld our two zero gravities together with a fleeting crystal to get zero gravity with magic haste. We can meld two of our magnets together with a fleeting crystal to get Magnera with magic haste. Are you seeing a pattern here? You should be. <laughs> Yes, Fandara. Yes, Cura. I don't care to have many equipped anymore. We get rid of that. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at all that. That is that is beautiful. We can't even equip all of the magic cases that we want. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. I was almost debating unequipping my Aurora. But I can't unequip Aurora, because we're going to go to Aurora's world next. The Enchanted Dominion, but that's gonna have to wait till the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody! Yep, yeah, next time we go to the Enchanted Dominion, the first world we visited as Terra is the last of the main free for us first circle of worlds that Ventus will be visiting in combat level three, and it's gonna be a lot tougher for us than it was for Terra. So look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.